Howdy y'all, welcome back to Black Sheep Meadow. Uh, this week we're gonna discuss, you can see I did a little bit of footage there. Uh, we purchased a addition to our property, a little extra acre, I think 1.2 acres just to the side of us. And it's been heavily covered in woods, uh, lots of tree and uh, vines, debris, that kind of stuff. So um, I convinced Amber that we needed a wood chipper. And man, this thing has really come in handy this summer. Some people say, oh man, it's just another novelty toy that you're playing with. Absolutely not. This is, uh, you've seen the equipment video that we did. Uh, this is probably, I probably should have put this piece of equipment in that equipment video because it's way high up there on the list as far as uh, being self-sustainable on the homestead. Um, all of this debris that you see behind us here, we've been able to wood chip into a very fine pile. Let me get, get y'all in here. Uh, and if y'all seen any of our other videos, you know that we use this in the chicken runs, we use this in our compost pile, we apply it directly to the garden for organic matter. Uh, this has been quite quite successful piece of equipment uh, for here at the homestead. Let me get y'all turned around here. So this is the equipment here. It's a PTO driven wood chipper, runs off the PTO of the tractor. Uh, this particular model is manufactured by Woodland Mills. It is, the model number is a WC88, and obviously it stands for wood chipper. The 88 means it's got an eight inch throat here where the wood chips go in. And if you watch any of the video of me chipping up some of the limbs or trees, you saw how well it eats them up. This is a forward and reverse for the inlet, the throat. And of course, all of our wood chip debris comes out here, lands in the pile. Uh, on our equipment video, I mentioned I wanted to correct myself. Uh, we have a K60A tractor. And in the equipment video, I mentioned that the uh, tractors began taking death fluid at 90 horsepower. That's incorrect. It's actually 74. Uh, anything above 74 horsepower is where the death fluid comes in. You want to stay away from that. Uh, one other notable mention. I'll get y'all set back down here. One other notable mention you see me use in the video while we were chipping is this Milwaukee hatchet. Uh, I purchased this for Amber through work. Uh, this has been, I'm not a big fan of the electric stuff, but I can tell you this has been super helpful because as you see, while I'm chipping wood, there may be an extra limb or a, a knot, something that I need to take off. I just grab this guy and go. Um, I, it's been super successful here on the homestead. Battery pack will last almost all day. Uh, now, is this taking down big trees? Absolutely not. Is it great for these little limbs? Works wonderful. So just a little few tips, tricks, uh, equipment on the homestead. Like I said, uh, we have about a little over one, maybe about an acre and a half of actual trees and limbs we've got to take out. Um, the wood chipper makes excellent, excellent work. Um, one of the other things I like to say about the wood chips is, you know, this summer, we have several videos where we talked about 120 days without any substantial rainfall. Well, during that time, we were obviously in a burn ban. So there was nothing that we could do with these limbs. Uh, we couldn't burn them. You could pile them up, but then of course you're dealing with snakes and everything else that decides to make it a home. So uh, the wood chippers worked out perfect, you know, so we're not buying wood chips for our chicken coops or our compost pile. Uh, we're not having to burn all this material. Uh, it's actually being put to use for us here on the homestead. It's working out really great. So like I said, I just want to touch base with this video, show y'all what we're up to here on the homestead. If y'all like what we're doing, leave us a like, subscribe, ring the bell. We'll see y'all next week.